It was an eagerly awaited ruling fueled by the vicious crumble for the Embu governor's seat in August last year where the incumbent Martin Nyagawambora beat his main challenger Leni Kivuti with less than a thousand votes. High Court Judge William Musioka overturning Wambora's triumph in a nail-biting afternoon verdict rendered before a packed Embu courtroom. I do hereby allow the petition in the terms of the results of the election held on 8th August 2017 are hereby nullified in order that a fresh gubernatorial election be held for Embu County. Musioka basing his ruling on the outcome of a recount and scrutiny exercise he had ordered last month on results declared in 710 polling stations, mainly in Runyenges and Manyata constituencies, where a series of irregularities and discrepancies were unearthed. In the August poll, Wambora had garnered 97,760 votes against Kivuti's 96,775 votes, the 985 votes gap reducing to 700 after the scrutiny. I have noted that the non-compliance with regard to the uncounted ballots, unaccounted ballots, affects ballots in the region of 566 votes, while that relating to missing counterfoils affects ballots in the region of 4,000 votes, and those relating to missing or illegible forms 37A are in excess of 10,000 votes. The excess votes amount to 111. Looking at all these figures globally, there would be no doubt that uh, the irregularities would affect the final result of the election. Wambora hurriedly exiting the courtroom as soon as his fate was sealed, while Kivuti joined his supporters in celebrating what he termed a triumph for democracy in Embu politics. Of course, he filed an appeal so that he can cling on longer than the time he's supposed to be there. If he is, if he is man enough, he should just say, we go back to the people. That way, if the people take him, well and good. Though previously described as the man with nine lives, Martin Nyagawambora becomes the third governor to have his election quashed by the court. Though Justice William Musioka has ordered a fresh gubernatorial race in Embu County, the people of this county will have to wait a little more as Wambora mounts a fresh legal showdown at the Court of Appeal. We'll move to the Court of Appeal as soon as possible and we are confident we, we, we will set aside this. It's a travesty of justice. It is. It is something the court should be ashamed of, really. Not because we, my client lost, but even the court for itself, you know, for its standing in society, for its integrity, it is something this court should be ashamed of. An appeal is a right. The uh, respondents have a right to file an appeal. We will be in court to defend the appeal. But clearly, what emerges is that this is an election that could not be defended. It was marred with massive irregularities. In Mombasa, Governor Ali Hassan Joho had his re-election confirmed by the High Court. Judge Lydia Achode dismissed former Senator Hassan Omar's petition and ordered him to pay Joho 4 million shillings as cost of the suit. IEBC was also ordered to pay Joho a similar amount. Petitions challenging the elections of lawmakers John Waluke of Sirisia, Samuel Arama of Nakuru Town West, Zadok Ogutu of Bomachoge, Kitutu Masaba's Shadrach Mose, and Rashid Kasim of Wajir East were also thrown out by the High Court. Francis, the Shuri Citizen TV, Embo County.